The mistakes that beginners usually make, and, and we made them as well, is the urge to integrate and combine all the data sources that you have in your organisation into your marketing automation platform. The best caution I can give is to be considered in what type of data that you integrate. Start small and get traction. Start small and get some wins and some metrics and some new language that you can bring back into the organisation and really start to uh, you know, create that rolling evolution and momentum for your, your objective. Consolidating or, or integrating, I speak to many different organisations that are beginning this, this process and quite often I have uh, an audience of bu business analysts, data specialists or scientists or you know, information architecture solution consultants and they're all very important people to have on that journey but they're not so critical at the beginning while you're just understanding who your customer is, have you got the right customer persona and have you been taking them on the right journey. Investing in marketing automation is like getting a whole new set of glasses to look through. So start small, look at your existing data and your existing processes and then build on there and bring in those uh, subject matter expertise as the need arises. Oh, it's been multiple um, people because I think initially my role was very much as the program, program manager, not really calling the persona and drawing upon the expertise of my team and I think to be fair, it's not one person. It's bringing multiple experts across the business, ideally from multiple teams as well, from your sales, service and marketing, to pass judgment and critically assess the new data. Uh, you, you will open yourself up to so many different data points through investing in marketing automation, no matter how big or small your investment is. The question is around what data do you listen to and in what time, you know, not what, what sequence do you actually listen to the data as well. So. There's no point opening up a hundred different new attributes to you and, and applying and assessing them on your current customer persona. You know, start with five critical things that are aligned to your strategy and, and, and aim to get those quick wins into the door. Uh, we've had some great wins. Uh, I mentioned uh, very much around our speed, of, speed to market from the time we started our contract, signed our contract with Marketo to executing for our, our major vision 2014 thought leadership event. Uh, it took less than two weeks to organise that and had a huge successful uh, campaign for that event, largest that we've done to date. Uh, we've had some wins, some big wins around how we manage our, our webinars, uh, starting to convert our unknown to known across our website and testing and integrating the tracking capabilities that Marketo provides across not just uh, our website but also other service platforms in the organisation. One key component I, is that I'm very proud of is pushing that the marketing and automation tool is now seen as our key customer engagement engine for Optus Business. So we're extending that across just across from marketing into service, sales, and legal, and every and other areas of the organisation to to really try to drive that single customer view in terms of touch point. What's next? Well, it's, it's very much for this year is learning uh, from our first tranche of personas and nurture and our data analysis. This year we're focusing very much on integrating key interesting moments from our different systems uh, into Marketo and back out into different uh, systems across the organisation. Feeding that data into heavy, into, into our business strategy and revamp, revitalising rather our existing dashboards and reports to add, add value. Simultaneously we'll be growing and developing on our um, automation team to really respond to the demand that is being generated through, through the use of this uh, technology. It's not a quick journey, but you can get quick wins.